Letterbox. What else can you see that starts with the same sound? Another letter. It's from John Allen. He lives on the island of Cole. Hello, my name is John Allen and I live on the island of Cole. Island means it has got water all around it. Coal is very rocky. Coal is always windy. There are hundreds of sheep on our island. And a few cows too. I love watching the birds soaring in the wind. Our beaches are brilliant! There's one village on coal. It's called Arnagor. John Allen lives outside the village, and on Saturdays, he cycles down to meet his friends. Coal is great for cycling. There aren't many cars on the island, and there are no trains or buses. The people on the island speak two languages. That's why the village sign is written in two ways. Gaelic and English. Great. Down at the pier, John Allen's friends are catching crabs. Hey. Hi, John Allen. You caught any big crabs? Yes, there are. Why? Out at sea is a lobster fisherman. He catches the lobsters in a basket called a creel. When Robert's out lobster fishing, he visits the seals. You can hardly spot them against the rocks. It's all right now, it's all right. They're not going to touch you. That's all right now, isn't it? So how are you today? Are you okay? Give us a wee stretch. We'll come back again. We have two shops on the island where you can buy almost anything. Most things have to come by boat, and I love watching it come in. The boat comes from Auburn on the mainland. In the summer, the boat comes in four times a week. Everyone comes down to the pier to pick up their shopping. And to see all the visitors coming off the boat. There's Frank. He's the postman. He's picking up the mail. There's my dad. He's the peer master. He's unloading the library books. The library opens once a week, and that's today, Saturday. Hi. Hello, John Allen. Your books have just arrived. Aha, uh -huh, I saw them coming off the boat. 
Yes, please. Some of the books in the library are Katie Morag stories. The author lives on the island. Her name is Mari Hedewick. This is the only way to get to Mary's house. We love going to Mary's house to listen to our stories. Today, I'm going to tell you a story called Katie Morag Delivers the Mail. Wednesdays were always hectic on the Isle of Stree, for that was the day that the boat brought mail and provisions from the mainland. One particular Wednesday was worse than usual, since baby Liam was cutting his first tooth and both Mr. and Mrs. McCall were in a bad mood. All right, all right, said Mrs. McCall in exasperation. I'll take Liam upstairs to quieten him down. Katie Morag, you take the mail to the houses across the bay. Pleased to escape, Katie Morag set off. She loved any excuse to visit her granny who lived all alone in the very last house on the other side of the bay. But it was a hot day and Katie Morag had just stopped for a moment to paddle in a pool beneath the Redburn Bridge when suddenly, a splash! She slipped on a slithery stone and fell into the water, mailbag and all. Oh dear, oh dear, wailed Katie Morag, looking at the five soggy parcels. All the addresses are smudged and I won't know which parcel is for which house now. Only Granny's parcel was still recognisable by its red label. Then, because she was so frightened and ashamed, Katie Morag did a silly thing. She ran the rest of the way to the other side of the bay and threw a parcel, any parcel, except the red labelled one, onto the doorstep of each of the first four houses. Well, this is a fine boorach you've got yourself into, Katie Morag, said Granny, when Katie Morag had explained what she had done. Still, at least you've given me the right parcel. It's got the spare part for the tractor that I've been waiting for. Granny had her head under the bonnet of the tractor for a long time. Then, suddenly, with a cough of black smoke, the tractor stuttered into life and they set off to go round each of the four houses in turn. The first house belonged to the lady artist. She had been expecting tiny thin brushes for her miniature paintings. But the parcel Katie Morag had left on her doorstep contained two enormous brushes. They're bigger than my painting board, she said in disgust. The second house was rented by the holiday people. They had ordered fishing hooks from a sports catalogue, but their parcel had been full of garden seeds. We can't catch fish with daisies and lettuces, they complained. At the third house, Mr McMaster was standing by a big barrel of whitewash, holding the lady artist paintbrushes. How can I paint my walls with these fiddling little things, he asked. In the fourth house lived Mrs. Bayview. That stupid shop on the mainland. Where are my seeds? Flowers won't grow out of these, she said crossly, waving a packet of fishing hooks in the air. After much trundling back and forth, Katie Morag finally managed to collect and deliver all the right things to all the right people. Everyone smiled and waved and said thank you very much. 
By now, it was getting dark. Katie Morag thought of the long journey home. She would be very late, and her parents were so bad-tempered these days on account of Liam's noisy teething. Granny, would you like to come back for tea? she asked. Katie Morag half hid behind Granny as they walked in the kitchen door, but to her surprise, everyone was smiling. Liam had cut his tooth at last and all was calm. Thank you for helping out today, Katie Morag, said Mrs. McCall. Isn't she good, Granny? Oh, aye, said Granny with a smile as she looked at Katie Morag. She's very good at sorting things out, is our Katie Morag. And she said no more. Katie Morag managed to deliver her letters correctly in the end. Here's another letter delivery. <laughs> Letter. Little letter. Long letter. Letter. Late letter. Both these words start with the same letter. Watch how Magic Pencil writes it. Top to bottom and flick. 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 Top to when you book a holiday home on Verbo, it's easy to find the perfect place to get lost in and escape to a big house with a big garden. There's so much for us all to do. I'm going to leave it to drop. The island of coal. What a beautiful place. Bye. Drum. Do almost drum.